Hey guys, this is Dapson Ishmael and in today's tutorial, let's take a look at how to create different gallery options using the Unite Gallery in WYSIWYG Web Builder version 16. So this is a sample page which has, um, so this is the nested um, you know, gallery um, as well as we have Justified and then also we have Columns and then we have um, Grid as well as we have the default way and then we have a slider here. So all these are created with the Unite Gallery, which happens to be an extension in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So I'm going to go ahead to open my WYSIWYG Web Builder. And just as I said earlier, this is an extension. So in case you don't have it installed, um, simply come to Tools and then come to the Extensions Manager. And then um, there's going to be a pop-up. So you come to um, All, and then let me just click on um, Yes. And then, um, so this, is, this has to take some time to load. Um, um, that's using the internet. So once it's downloaded, you just go ahead and search for Unite um, Gallery. So in my case, I already have it installed. So I would um, just go ahead and then um, have it, you know, launch. So if you don't have it installed, all you can do is just go ahead and then, um, you know, install it from this particular section simply by clicking on install and then you are good to go. So I think I have some few updates I have to do right here. So I'm going to update all my extensions and uh, just wait for some few seconds and then I'll continue right away from there. So my updates are done and uh, Unite Gallery was actually part of the update. So since I've updated it, let me just go ahead and then close this and um, let me just launch it again so that we could have it working properly. So I have my application launched. Let me come to the toolbox and search for Unite Gallery. So I click on it and then I'm going to um, draw on the canvas here. So I'm going to double click on this and then um, at this section where you have media, this is where you go ahead and then add the files you want to um, add that is being at pictures and the rest. So when I click on add under data type, I have a couple of options over here. So I can use an image. I could use a YouTube video, a Vimeo um, video, HTML5 video, SoundCloud audio or even Wistia. Um, videos as well. So in my case, I'm just going to stick to image and you have to fill this information, but I'm going to skip these ones and then I'll go ahead and then add a file name. I'll select the image I want to use over here. So I'm going to go ahead to um, continue through this process, um, have um, some few images um, selected, and then I'm going to go ahead to continue from there. So let me just add two more images and that should be good to go. So let me add um, maybe this one and click on open, click on OK. So I'm done adding my images. The next is for me to um, configure um, them the way I want it to, you know, them to show. So I'll come to the options section. And then what I'll be doing here is under general, where you, where you have theme, this is where you go to select the kind of, um, should I say, way you want your um, Unite Gallery to display. So as we saw on this particular page, we have different options over here. So we have nested, justified columns grid default and um, we have the slider so when you come over here you have these same options so you have carousel compact grid slider tile styles grid and video so let's start with carousel um, i'm going to leave all these options as they are i'll leave these ones also as well i'll click on ok and then i'm going to uh, let me expand this a little bit and then preview this in the browser So this is the carousel. So you realize it's actually moving in a carousel. So if I want to um, enlarge on this, I click on it, it shows in a light box and I can close it. I can also um, switch to different images using the arrow um, icons over here. So um, this is for the carousel. When I come back here, the next option is to change this to compact. Um, when, once you change these options, you realize some of the options over here becomes um, um, faded out, others also becomes available. So based on what you have um, selected. So let's see how compact is also going to behave. Once I preview this, this is how com um, compact looks. So I can actually hide this uh, thumbnails over here. I can um, enlarge it as well so that I can, you know, switch to the respective images using the thumbnail. And then I could equally use this icon over here to switch to different images as well as I can um, zoom in zoom out and then also i can you know fit um, the image over here to the screen size here so the next option is going to be 
uh, grid so once you enable grid you realize um, i think all these options are still available so let me just click on ok and then preview this in the browser so this is how the grid looks uh, almost similar to what we had with the compact so let me come back and then change this to slider and click on ok preview this and so this is actually you know in a form of slider you can switch to different images using this pagination here you could equally use the arrow keys over here so as you can zoom in zoom out so that's with the slider option and then the next option is going to be the tile so i'll click on ok and then preview this and as you can see this is the tile so once i click on this it shows in a light box i can close this and i can also navigate to the other images using the same um, light box option now the next one over here is going to be tiles grid but before then you realize as we selected tiles some of these options over here has been you know faded out which we can't make any changes to so let me come here and select tiles grid and click on ok and preview this in the browser so this is how the tiles grid also shows um, like now the final option over here is video and this is used for um, videos that is if you are using videos on your unite gallery now when you look at the very bottom based on whatever theme you select there are options that are becomes available so um, this is the light box option if whether i want to have it open in a compact way or in a wide way so if i preview this and then click on this this is how the compact shows and the wide was what we saw earlier on something like this so basically this is how you can go ahead to use the unite gallery which happens to be an extension to have different um, kind of gallery options on your wizard web builder website project so that is just about it for this tutorial in case you are new to this channel kindly go ahead and then hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it my name is Dabson Ishmael thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one